Greetings, family. It's Empress D. I'm obviously not in a nature space, but I'm out on a walk. I do this almost every night, family. I love walking, um, especially now that the weather is wonderful here. Um, in the Toronto area, we had such a beautiful day today. The sun was out the whole time. It was warm. It was wonderful. Um, so I was out today, of course, in the in the beautiful weather, but here I am at night taking my walk as I normally do. Family, um, I hope you guys went out in nature today. And if not, I hope you're on a walk right now just like I am, okay? At least taking in some fresh air, okay? I don't know how fresh it is, but air, okay? We should be under the stars, under the sun, okay? Or under the moon. It's a nice full one tonight, although it's there. You guys can't see it's the clouds are there, but it's been peeking in and out. A nice full moon tonight. Um, I hope you guys are getting out in nature. And I also hope you're taking care of yourself. I hope you guys are um, leveling, leveling up, as Sierra said, okay? I hope, I hope you guys are leveling up, okay? Um, as I'm walking and thinking, I can't help but, um, but, but talk about how I'm feeling right now. So the whole thing about these COVID-19 um, measures, these the vaccination passports, the masking and all of that, they're taking that stuff away, right family? Um, on the, In the next few days, we are no longer going to be required to wear masks in Ontario in indoor spaces other than high risk places like hospitals and whatever else. But yeah, so although I, 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 it's, I haven't been wearing masks and it's only because it's very hard for me to do things that don't make sense. I just, my body doesn't allow me, I can't do it. And so that's why I'm not just trying to be defiant or no, man, I just can't, I can't do things that don't make sense. I'm just built that way. And so I haven't been wearing them for since June. Um, uh, but everybody, like I, now I don't even have to explain myself come a couple days from now, okay? The 21st, I think. Yeah, the 21st of March, a special day. Um, it's the spring equinox, right? We're going into the new year. So, family, it's nice. It's nice that they're taking these, these things away, but I'm sorry, I can't help but feel some an ominous feeling about all this, right? I don't think this is the end of it. I think we are going to see more viruses and strains and variants come the fall. I think just like last year, they're going to ha let us have a decent summer. And then I think we're in for more. That's just my guess. On top of the war conflict going on, right? Look at the sunbeam or light beam going across. It's crazy. Energy. Look at that. Anyway, family. Um, yeah, that's what's up. It's, I don't know. It's great. It's great. I'm not going to complain. It's wonderful that they've taken away these, um, these mandates. However, I, I don't think we've seen the end of this. The other thing is that I, and, and let me explain something for those of you who aren't in Ontario, or maybe you're in Ontario, you just didn't realize. <sighs> they've, they've, the, the province has lifted the mandates, right? But each individual company or organization has the authority to decide whether or not they want to continue with these mandates, right? I think that um, the public ministries don't, right? So for example, education, schools, if the province has no masks, I don't think each school can say, no, I'm gonna override that or each board, no, it has to go board or province-wide, right? Um, what I'm noticing though, is that the universities have not lifted their mandates. So if you want to achieve or attend post-secondary education at this stage of the game, you need to be vaccinated, even if you are a remote student, meaning only study online. This, these are the rules here where I live, okay? So that means that if you're not vaccinated, you cannot proceed post-secondary education. 
What I also realize is that they are not lifting the mandates federally. So if you work for the federal government or a federal ministry, you, my friend, still have to be vaccinated. Okay, so this is what I'm finding. So I seem, it seems to me like institutions are still going to continue with this type of mandate, right? Because they can, they have that authority to do so. This is crazy. So the world is changing, family. Um, the world is really changing. Um, but my whole point of speaking tonight <laughs> is to say that I don't trust that it's over, okay? Yes, they're lifting the mandates, but I feel that there's more to come. You know, Shakespeare said, the world is a stage. <laughs> you know, I, when I just, when I'm thinking and I'm just thinking about stuff and reviewing things in my head, even the trucker convoy, like big up to you guys, it was wonderful, it was great. But I wonder, is everything orchestrated? Is this all... I don't know anymore, right? And that's, and I think that's what, when you are really gaining to know things, you recognize that we really don't know anything, right, family? And so who knows? Who knows if the trucker convoy was part of the orchestration of all of this? Who knows? Anyway, family, I said, I just wanted to say what's up on my night walk. Um, and I hope you guys are well. And also encourage you guys to get out in nature. I hope you guys are doing so. And I hope you guys are taking care of yourself, all right? Anyway, family, thank you for taking the time to listen to this message. And I love and I value each and every one of you. One love.